Hey hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue and I'm bringing you all this video of me playing a board game. Uh, today we're going to be playing Era, and I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to do, I'm going to play the game first and then do the commentary and review because I haven't played Era in a while. Um, I did do like a test run just to make sure I remember the rules and get the setup for solo, so we're just going to go through it. Um, I'm currently playing in the solo mode for Era, and for those who don't know, Era is a roll and write game. <clears throat> well, in this case, I guess, roll and place game. Uh, it's based on the, or it's a re-implementation of Roll Through the Ages, Bronze Age, and Iron Age, uh, two different games, which Roll Through the Ages, Bronze Age, I think was the first one, Roll Through the Ages, Iron Age was the second, the re-release of that, and then Era is the uh, 2019 re-release of the whole system, or that whole thing. So essentially, instead of uh, rolling and then writing down stuff on paper, uh, we actually have some nice physical components, and I like the table presence of this game, but we'll talk about that more when we actually get to the review. So, um... Here we have, and, and, and like I said, I'm experimenting with doing the game before I do the review, so <laughs> we'll see how that works, because I was, I was about to launch into review mode. Uh, but we have here my starting build. Uh, I'm playing solo, so the enemy um, has two of these gray dice, and then one of these white or yellow dice. And the yellow dice are longhouses, that's what feeds people. This is what my starting build looks like, because I want to set it up that way. And the gray dice uh, represents uh, the noblemen, those are the noblemen dice. And those will be attacking and uh, giving certain benefits, so they'll do different things. And um, those are actually represented by the buildings, which I feel is kind of cool. So we have, um, we have this building here, which I don't know how well you can see that, but we have this building here, which is the one that when I build it, I'll get that corresponding dice. And then the long houses, which are the little small houses here, which are nice, nice plastic, nice sturdy plastic, um, that will give me the yellow dice. So I start with three long houses, which is why I start with three yellow dice. And I start with one, uh, one nobleman or one, um, what is it? What's it called? Uh, I gotta find the names of these things. One keep. That's called a keep. I start with one keep, so I get one gray dice. And my enemy, they'll start with, and this is the, the neutral player, they'll always start with two uh, keeps and one longhouse. So they'll be stuck with that the entire game. And depending on what they roll determines if I, if I will lose stuff or gain stuff. So uh, in this solo game, I'm going to play eight rounds total. So I have this dice here that does not come with the game to kind of keep track of what round I'm on. So hopefully I'll be diligent with moving that as I go along. And then of course, these are the things I can build. Uh, they had different resources. This is this card in front of us tells us a bunch of information. Here we have disasters, which disasters are based on skulls. And I don't know how well I can see that. I can zoom in just a little bit so you can at least see this. Uh, disasters will show based on how many skulls that I roll. So like this is a test roll that I had in my game that I was playing uh, yesterday, but I'm, I'm gonna re-roll because we're doing a new recording here. But every time I get a skull, I'm stuck with that dice. And the skull, number of skulls I have at the end of the roll determines what benefit or drawback I have. Um, normally when you're playing this game competitively or with other people in a non-solo environment, then you have things like uh, uh, give Scorched Earth. So this one, if I have three skulls, then opponents scorch an uh, scorch unwalled area. So that's, that's good because I, I want three skulls because that means my opponents will, have, will be forced to put one of these, one of these little things here. Uh, which are called Scorched Earths, and these are really annoying because they just take up space. They don't actually give me any benefit. They're worth no points. They just take up space. And um, it takes up a 3x3 uh, a three three space, so nine spaces. And normally I would give that to each of my opponents, but in this game, because I'm playing solo, if I get three skulls, then I have to give it to myself. Uh, so anytime I have to give an opponent Scorched Earth or Scorch an opponent's whatever, that's going to affect me instead. So I need to be very cautious of that. And that's only based on my rolls. Now my opponent's rolls, my opponent's rolls, uh, the neutral boss rolls, those are, the only thing I'm really paying attention to there is the swords and the benefits I get. So if they have more swords than I do, so if we take the sample roll, if they have enough swords, let's say I had, uh, let's say I had this going on. If this is what my roll was, this means that the opponent, the neutral player will, will steal a good from me. So they'll steal one of my goods uh, because they have more swords than I do. Uh, if we had tied swords and neither one of us affects each other, and then uh, in this particular example, the opponent had two swords and I have four shields. So shields are the same, similar to swords as far as what they block, but they don't allow me to attack the opponent with them. So in this particular role, uh, the opponent will take nothing from me. Uh, we, we basically won't interact in this particular round because of this role specifically. Um, I would take a, I would lose one resource uh, or uh, or increase my death track, which is uh, losing victory points. So zoom out here. So I can, uh, this is negative victory points on this side. This is positive victory points on this side. 
and uh, my end game score is based on how I built. Um, I'll score double points for every every building that's built inside of the wall, so I don't have to wall this whole thing completely. And then every building I have inside of there will be double, worth double the points. Um, and the buildings have different values depending on pretty much the size of the building. Uh, there's a score, there's a score thing back here. And there's a whole score sheet that uh, we'll use to tally up our points at the very end. But as you can see, for every wall that I have is worth zero points. For every cathedral I have is worth five points. Uh, stuff like that. Okay, so enough of that. Um, so I play eight rounds total. Normally, uh, in a multiplayer game, you will play until two or three stacks are gone. Or sorry, two, th sorry, three or five stacks are gone, depending on your player count. Um, I think it's three if you're playing a two-player game, and five if you're playing a more than two-player game. Um, I, don't, I don't recall. I can check the rule book, but I'm not going to. Uh, this can play up to four people. All right, cool. All this out of the way. So this is my starting build. Uh, the game has me start with three Scorched Earths. So that's why you see the three Scorched Earths there. And um, I, I get to start with one farm uh, like this. So this is um, this one just gives me one food for free. Uh, these long houses give me the dice to possibly get more than just one food. And this keep that I have gives me this. And then of course everything inside of the walls is double is double uh, points. Also another another thing in this game too, which is kind of a cool mechanic, but also you know I kind of have a plan around it already, is that um, if you are ever to score a disease which is this two skulls, then you will lose or you lose one victory point per clustered building. So if I have this situation going on, it's where these two buildings are, because you know I want to space pack, I want to pack things together, then I'm going to lose two points every time I roll double skulls. So that's a risky thing. I can kind of push my luck and just build my buildings as compact as possible to fit more stuff to get more points. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to, I'm currently planning on building a hospital in here like so. And then um, once I build the hospital, I'll build some more buildings to kind of space pack that efficiently. And the hospital special ability is that adjacent buildings are immune to disease. So that means that um, I can put another building here. Actually, no, if I put a building here, that building will be still affected. So if I, if I did this situation, then this building will still be minus one. This will not be minus one uh, if I'm interpreting that correctly. So essentially, I'm just going to try to space pack this as beneficial or as uh, efficiently as possible. Uh, to try to get as many houses in there next to the next to the hospital, that's gonna give me more dice. Um, I also have to feed my, I have to feed my um, my stuff, and by that I mean I need to have enough grain, which is on this chart here. Oops, so start right there, and I have to have enough grain to feed my dice. Uh, every dice basically needs one food, so I need to roll my resource uh, as such. Okay, cool. So that should be enough as far as uh, what we need to know about the game. Um, all the other buildings and stuff we'll talk about as we get to it, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my first roll. I get uh, three, two free re-rolls, so I get one roll and then two free re-rolls, and I can re-roll as much or as, as little as I want, so to me. Uh, if it's a skull, then it's stuck, so I cannot re-roll it. So right now I have two swords, three wood, um, I can get either two grain or one stone, and then I have two build actions. Uh, I think, hmm, I think I'm going to... Yeah, because cause on this first round, I kind of don't need food because I'm going to have enough to feed all my dice unless, well, if my opponent steals something, I'll steal a stone. So I think I'm going to reroll this as my second reroll. Um, because if I can get another wood, then I can build two log factories, which log factories cost three wood to build. And they'll give me two free wood uh, for uh, per collection step. And if I get there early, then that's going to be pretty nice. All right, two stone. Uh... Hmm. Two stone would be nice too, because then I can build a burger, or, or bur bur burger, yeah, burger, and uh, that one will allow me to get community chests, which I need eventually to build the hospital, um, and the other things I want to build. Also, I can start getting victory points and more builds and some stones. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna push my luck. I'm gonna go my last reroll and just reroll this one. And okay, all right, food it is. So that's what I got. So this is going to be my resources. Uh, right now I'm going to collect my stuff and then roll the roll the bot because I don't want to miss out on doing this. Actually, no, let, let me do this because we have a turnover thing here. Also, another note, uh, well, I'll talk about the review. Let's, let's, let's play the game. Well, there's another note I want to complain about, but I'll complain about that later. So it looks like we tied in swords. So that means nobody's going to steal anything. And if I were stealing from the bot, then I would still, I would be able to steal a stone or whatever they rolled. So in this case, I stole nothing. They stole nothing. We don't affect each other. Now I move on to the the uh, taking phase. So I will take um, one, two, three wheat, and I get one wheat from this. 
and then I get three three wood one two three wood and then I have two build actions so we're not at the build actions yet that's down here so now I'm gonna go into the feeding my dice I have to feed one two three four dice so I go from seven to uh, seven to three that's right seven to three yeah and then now we've done that I go into my skulls if I had any disasters I would do those I have no skulls so I'm fine and then uh, building actions I can do two builds because I have two hammers so I'm definitely gonna build a wood or a log factory I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna build this out because I can put a I can put a two wall here like so and then I can put a longer wall and uh, for each of these each of these buildings each of these walls it costs one um, it costs one stone to build a wall section so it costs one stone to build a wall section so because I have two builds here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend three wood which is here to build a log factory or a l lumber mill one two three so I'll go down to two and I'm gonna put this lumber mill right in this corner and I'm trying to think of like how to efficiently space pack this stuff uh, I could no, the physics doesn't work for me. Shoot. If I can just flip this piece this way and do that, that'd be great. But nope, nope, it's not the handles dealt. Uh, in hindsight, I should have built this on this side so I can put this here like so. But that's not that's not what I did. That's not what I did, so I can't undo it. Because once this place is placed, I'll put this here. Nope, because then I'm not going to be able to fit my wall. Uh, oh, this is tough. Oh, you know what? Fine. I will be space inefficient, and I will put it like this. Or I'll be as space efficient as it can be. Let me say it that way. Put this here. So that's one build. I spent my three wood already. And then I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a very long wall section. And I'll put it here for one stone. And that's it. So I just need to fill this in, and that'll be fine. That'll make me immune from scorched earths if they show up in the future. And we're on to round two. Oh, sorry. Next thing we do is we do fighting. Um, oh, this is a demanding. This is a we demand stuff. We, we, we were tied, so nothing happens with that fist. And now we're on to round two. Round two. First roll. Uh, we got this going on. Uh, hmm. I'm kind of okay with this roll as it is. I'm gonna, oh, I need, well, I'm gonna be able to feed all my dice because I have, I'm gonna get one food from this and then more food. So this round is gonna collect a bunch of stone and I'm gonna reroll this sword, maybe get more swords. That's cocked. Ah, it's better. Okay, this is like the best roll. Alright, I'm sticking with that. Uh -huh. Oh, the boss, or the uh, the bot protects themselves. Alright, fine. Whatever, whatever. Alright, so we're here, taking phase. I will get two, four stones. So I go from zero to four. I have no build actions, which is unfortunate. But I get three wood. Or actually get three plus two wood. So I get five wood. So I go from two to seven. So I'm almost maxed out on that. And then I have, that's all I get. So now we go into the next phase, which is feeding. Oh, sorry, I get one food from this. Next phase, which is feeding, I get four food, or feed, I spin four food. I have no skulls, no builds, no uh, demanding from each other. Next round. All right, feel like I'm doing good so far. I just need some builds, so I can start spinning some of, that, some of those woods and some of those uh, stones. Uh, ooh. All right, uh, that's gonna be nice to get some community chests there. I'm definitely gonna reroll all three of these because I need none of those resources. Uh, that's that's a little bit better. It's a little unfortunate because I got two skulls, which is gonna be actually two skulls is fine. Uh, I'm okay with this. This is fine. I'll take this. All right, I'll stick with this. I have no protection, so if there's one sword from the boss's side or from the bot side, I'm gonna lose some stuff. And look, they rolled no swords. How convenient. How convenient. And you all saw me roll it live, so you know not not doing any fudging over here. So, so we have um, our resources. I have two skulls, which is not going to affect me at all because I have no buildings touching. So disease, you know, it kind of sucks, but it's not going to do anything. So we're going to do the taking resources phase. I'm going to get three food from here. One, two, three. I'm going to get one food from here. One. And then I could either get one stone or two food. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I want one stone or two food. I'll take the two food because I have... A good bit of stones. I'm gonna try to finish this wall here, but let me do one, two for food. So I spent. 
And then I get one wood and then two chests. So one, two chests, which are really nice. And then one wood. And then plus this two goes to waste. But I'm okay with that. And now we go over to our feed phase. I'm going to feed my four dice from six to two. And then we go over to the uh, disasters. I have a disaster of disease. Nobody's touching, so we're fine. Um, build. I get one build total with that one hammer. So I will do my one build of, let's see. I don't really need a lum another lumber mill, but I can go ahead and build my hospital, actually. Let me go ahead and build my hospital so I can burn all that wood that I have. So I'm building a hospital, right? So that's going to cost me six wood. So I go from eight to two and then one, one of those chests, which is one there. Good timing. So now these are all immune from disease. And uh, it kind of sucks because I, if I had built this a little bit, like in hindsight, I should have built this further so I can fit another building, some more buildings around it. But here I'm going to be able to build some nice long houses to get some stuff stacked in there. Or maybe built a different building. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might build a cathedral, which, uh, or sorry, a monastery. It's a monastery? No, uh, this one, church. I might build a church, which costs this, this, and this, which I have those resources right now, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the next round. So we're in round number four. Oh, uh, fighting happens. Nobody had anything. New dice roll. And okay, so I got some stuff. I got a build at least. And I got a community chest. Let's see, do I need a, do I need a bunch of community chests? I think I'll take at least, eh. I feel like it's a waste of a die. I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this. That's why I'm gonna reroll all these, but of course I'm holding on to that because I have to. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with that roll either. I'm gonna reroll all three of these. This is my last roll, I gotta commit to it now. And what I got is what I got. All right, so I got another disease going. But I got two builds, which is convenient, and then I got um, some some stones. So the boss or the the bot is gonna roll, and they're gonna get enough swords to steal something from me, which is unfortunate. So they're gonna steal. They always try to steal the highest good, which is this, uh, the most valuable good, which in this case is the chest. So I probably should have taken that chest in hindsight, but we're talking about a dice game here. So we're not gonna take it too personally. They're gonna do. Oh, ooh, I can spend it before they take it. Actually, I'll take it back. Yeah, I'll spend it before they take it. <laughs> so we're going to the giving phase or the taking phase. Um, I will take two wood plus two more, so four. So I go from six to uh, two to six. Then I take two stone. Uh, that's going to be one, two, and then nothing else for me. Um, I get one food from my farm, and oh, I'm not going to be able to feed all my dice. So. All right, so here we are. Um, I have I'm not able to feed all of my all of my dice which that's unfortunate, miscalculation on my side. So one, two, three, and I think uh, the penalty for me in a solo game is I lose two points. I think it's a little, I lose two points when I can't feed them. Um. Oh no, it's just disasters, uh, or no, extorts, okay. Yeah, so ex, uh, extortion, extortion is when they take a resource and I decide, if I, I can decide to give them the resource they're extorting, or I can choose to not give them the resource they're extorting. But otherwise, I just lose one food. It says, uh, population, uh, adventure peg on the disaster, disaster track once for each die you cannot feed. Yep. So I just go down one, so it's one negative point. I guess it's not bad yet, but we'll see how it goes. Skulls, disease goes, don't, I don't have anything to get diseased. I get two builds. So let's see, how can I spend that thing? So I can build a church. I can build a church. The question is where would I build it? Uh, hmm. Where would I build it? A church will give me another dice, which means I have to feed more stuff. And I got two builds total. Uh, a longhouse, which is the... Um, the one that gives me the yellow dice, I can get another longhouse, or I can just build another farm. A farm is uh, this big one out here. I have not had many disasters yet, but now the set of course is going to be, a, <laughs> I'm going to see a whole bunch of them. And uh, this is all laid out in such a way to where I can take one, two, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four disasters before I have to start worrying about taking stuff in here. Um, I think if it's a situation to where I have to place a disaster, but I don't have space for it, or place a scorched earth and I don't have space for it, I think I start killing stuff that's not walled to fit space for it. Um, but I, th I think at this point, it will be a good idea for me to build a big building that I can afford and then build a farm. So I need at least one wood to build a farm. 
but what big buildings can I build out here? I can try to go for a market, which uh, they score points based on free spaces around them. One point for each space that's free around them, so it has to be uh, open spaces around them. So it kind of affects the space packing. Um, cathedral, I cannot afford a cathedral right now. That's way too expensive for me. Uh, that allows me to set a dice. Actually, no, is that, is that the, no, that's the monastery. Monastery allows me to set a dice before the second roll. Uh, so I could do, I could do a monastery. That might be a good expenditure of resources. All right, so I'm committed to a monastery. I'm gonna spend one of these, two stones, one, two, and then four wood. So I go from six to two wood. And oh, now that I've done that, uh, I get the monastery, which is here. So I can set one of my dice to whatever I want. I'll put the monastery over here to give a little bit of space. I don't think I'll need the second lumber mill, so I'm just gonna kind of commit to that. That's fine. And also monastery is gonna be worth a lot of points. And then the next thing I'll do uh, with my second build is I will definitely build another house, which is going to give me a dice, so we can start packing space. We're doing some space packing over here. Oh no, my building fell. So I get one more die, and that's it for my builds. Uh, now we move on to the extortion. Uh, the opponent is going to extort the best resource they can, which is a stone, to take that, and that's it. So now we're on to round five, which should be here. All right, so I, I got to finish those walls. So I need a bunch of builds, um, a bunch of builds. So I can at least do like one, two, three. I got to do that piece too. Ugh. Now, you know, alternatively, I could build a, I could build one of these here because that counts as a wall. So I could do that if I wanted to, uh oh, I'll also die. There we go. Sorry, fell under the uh, table here. So my first roll, and I got, oh, I got plenty of builds. Oh, oh, I got too many builds. Uh oh, <laughs> all right. Let's see, fours, fires, lose a building. Uh, I don't want to lose a building. Three is treachery, which is, I, I had to put a scorch earth in here. Um, mm, put, I mean, I, ha I have space, I have capacity to do so. I think with the number of builds that I have, this is a good time for me to kind of commit to this. Cause I have one, two, three, four, five dice to feed. I'm getting three food and plus one so i'm going to be down one food i'm going to be down one an, sorry another point and i really don't want to push my luck that much so i'm, I'm gonna stick with this this is fine um i can set actually can i get away with two builds let me think because i forgot i can set a die to whatever face i want so i can make it to where i have enough food for now in the next round but we're getting really close to the end of the game because we're around five of five of eight so i don't want to be too slow I think, I think it's worth the risk. Now, how much does it take to build a keep? It takes three stone. That'll be all the stone that I have. Uh, yeah, I'd rather finish the walls and then save that for next. Yeah, yeah, let's let's commit to this. I'm just gonna lose another victory point, which, eh, it, yeah, it happens. My opponent's gonna roll. And of course, they're gonna extort me. So they're gonna extort successfully. Now we're over to the, sorry, it was dice roll. Now we're into the taking phase. Um, I'll get three of these. One, two, three. And then plus one for my farm. One. And then over here, I will get two chests. One, two. I will get two wood from this. One, two. And then I will get two wood total from these two dice. One, two. And now that we're done with that, we're going to feed our stuff. I am one short, so I lose a point. And then next we move on to the skulls. I take a scorched earth, the first scorched earth that I've taken uh, this particular game. And I'll put it right there. I can put like a farm there now. It's pretty nice. And next up is the building. I have four builds, which is great because I got all these stones here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to build as much of the wall as I can with two of those builds. So this is two stone, one stone, two stone. And then it uh, looks like I have space for a keep anyway, so one, two. And now i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my resources. The bot is going to extort me. So can I spend both of those um, chests with builds that I have? I can try to build another hospital. I wasn't planning on it, but I could. Hmm. Nah, I think building a church and... 
Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, I can build a church and I can build a monastery. Nope, I can't. I can't build a monastery. Hospital's the most efficient use of all the wood that I have, but I only have six wood. I'm just going to spend all my wood here. All right, so, so I'll build a church and I'll build a farm. Um, and I'll just, I'll just sadly lose one of the blues that I've got. So I build a church, which is going to give me another die. And then I'll build a farm, um, which is over here. I'll put the farm there. Actually, I'll put the farm up here. So it's a church and a farm. And the farm costs me one wood. Oh, the church costs me, sorry, one of each. So one, one, one. And the farm cost me one. So now I get two food regeneration. And I can possibly do uh, another farm out here, space it out so I can fit that. Uh, so we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes though, because I have um, three spaces for more scorched earths. We'll see how those go. And I think I've done, that was one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Yep, that's my four builds. And that's it. So now we move on to the extortion. The bot's going to take this resource, which is unfortunate, but hey, it happens. Next round. All right, come on, big money. Come on, big money. Not to be confused with small money. Small money is cool too, but it's just big money is more big, you know? It's more bigger. All right, ooh, that's that's actually a nice roll. Um, I need more food because I have six dice here. But uh, I do kind of like this roll. So now with my monastery, I can set one of these dice to a face of my choice. Um, I think I will, because with all this stone, I can build a keep if I get enough stone. Now the question is, do I want to, let's see, this is uh, that or that. I, I really don't need all of this uh, wood that we have here. So this one, I can get a victory points. I can get uh, two books, two victory points. And I think, I think, it's, uh, I think this is going to be a food. I'll set this to a food. And I will not use my other reroll because I'll have six food and four stone. Um, I have no builds, but round seven will be my builds. So I have nothing to worry about in this particular one unless the bot gets five again, which they do not. So that's pretty fine. All right, so I get to ignore them now. Take our resources. So I get uh, two wood from this. One, two. And then from these, I'm going to take all these as stones. So that's four stone total. And then for these, that's six food. So I'll take uh, from zero to six. And then I get one, two from these two. One, two, food from those two. And that's it. So now we move on to the feeding phase. I feed my dice, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go down from eight to two. And then next we move on to disasters. I have none. Uh, builds, I have none. Uh, extortion, nothing happens. And now we're on to round seven. This is where I gotta make a count. All right, so I need to finish these for sure. So I need at least two builds I need at least two builds so I can build a keep which gives me another dice and I can build a section of wall idealistically I can build two keeps which gives me more dice but I have a lot of food production right now so I'm okay with that um, and two keeps will give me my point give me more points because a keep is worth one point whereas a wall is worth zero uh, and a keep is automatically double because it's, it's considered walled so a keep is actually worth two points at the end of the game so uh, we'll see how that goes for me Alright, so let's roll, and we got a skull on the white die, and we got our two bills. Um, I get to set a dice face here. Um, I think I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. If I can just get one more, actually, okay, this will be the two stone I need, so I can build two keeps with all this that we have showing. I need food. I only need two builds, so I think this is going to become food. So I can make sure that I'm not... Oh, actually, hold on. Before we do that, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is enough. This is enough food to feed me already. So I'm instead going to make this a triple sword and then hope that I um, have enough swords to extort the opponent and hope they give me something good. I'm committing to this because one of these is just lose one resource. Or, um... Wait, what is this? It says, oh, lose one victory point or lose one resource. I'll just lose a resource. And it's a resource of my choice. And so I should have enough to do that. And of course, they're going to get more swords than me. Of course. The game. The game is cheating, y'all. The game is cheating. All right, they're going to extort me anyway. Rude. 
All right, all right, all right. So now we move over to the taking phase. Um, I will take one, two, uh, five food. So I'll go from two to nine. Nope, I lied. That's that's not math. I go from two to seven. And that's the food. And then for the stone, I will take four stone. Uh, ooh, I'm actually maxed out on stone. So I can only take uh, three of them. Well, that sucks. But I can build my keeps. That's all I care about. And then for books, I get two victory points. One, two. And then for this one, I can lose a resource. Oh, sorry. We do the feeding first. So I feed my people, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go from seven to one. And then finally, we go over to the disaster. And I will either lose a resource of my choice or um, lose a victory point. I think I'll lose a resource. And I don't think I need wood right now. So I will lose the wood. Oh, did I get my wood? I don't know if I got my wood, but it's going to be maxed out near nearly. I'll just lose the one wood resource. And now I got two builds. I'm going to build two keeps. So I go from seven to one, because I'm spending three a piece, because keeps cost three stone. So that's this and this. So now everything is fully walled. Everything is fully walled. Um, if I had another build, which I don't, but if I had another build, I would build a uh, farm so I can get some more food. But I think at this stage, I just need to feed my last round and maybe build a big building if I can afford it. Um, or alternatively, alternatively, if I can get, if I if I risk it now, I can decide to build a big building now. Which uh, oh I can't I can't really build a big building because I don't have any um I don't have any chests so never mind. All right so I'll put that there. So now all these points inside oh oh gosh, <laughs> disaster strikes. All right so I'm putting this uh, here and now everything inside of this keep everything inside of this castle area is gonna be double score or double points. So I got, I got a decent number of points here. I can definitely get more. I can definitely squeeze more in there. So we'll see how I do that. But that's going to be my commitment for this one. And now I move over to the stealing phase or the taking phase. And the bot is going to take the highest resource, which is my stone. It's kind of rude, but here we are. And that's it. So now we're going to the last round. Now number eight. I'm doing so far so good. And we got some food, some more food, and some more food, and some wood, and some other stuff. Um, I definitely want at least one build, but I also want to make sure I can feed my stuff. I got six dice here. So with six, oh, actually, I lied. Sorry, I have two extra. My bad. Yeah, because these keeps give me other dice, so I have two extra dice. Look at these swords. All right, so I can definitely outsword the bot. Um, but I, I do need a lot of food, so I'm going to have... Actually, that's enough food, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's five, six, seven, eight. That's enough food to feed all my dice. So I think I'm good on the food. Uh, can I get a build? Uh, part of me wants to reroll these. Because if I can get a build, I can build something to just get some points. Like, even if it's a little small building. I mean, one point or two points extra is still two points extra. Um, I can build a lumber mill for sure. And idealistically, I want to build a one of these buildings, but I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to get enough chests in one roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my luck here. I'm going to roll these two. Well, I'm, I'm going to set this one to a three sword, and then I'm going to roll this one. Actually, I'm going to roll. This is going to be stone, stone, wood. I'm going to roll this one too. So I'm rolling these two. And. Uh, I probably should have set for the other one. I'm gonna re-roll this. This is my last roll. Yeah, I made a bad decision. I have no builds, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, the bot, I don't think the bot will be able to do anything. I can steal the bot's resource, but it's gonna be worth nothing to me. Uh, I have enough to overcome the bot. The bot, they got the builds I want. Uh, I can't steal that from them. So yeah, so this last round, nothing happens really. I mean, I feed my dice. We have. Uh, so let me let me go ahead and just take just to, for prosperity. So this is five, uh, six, seven. So I go from one to eight. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice. So that's fine, that's all the food I need. Get on here, feed my dice, eight dice. Get on here, disaster. I had no disasters. Uh, builds, I unfortunately have no builds, which is very unfortunate. Uh, taking, I can take nothing because the bot has nothing to take. And that's it. That is the end of the game. 
So now we tally up our scores, which I don't know where my pen is. There it is. So now we're going to go ahead and do the math to tell out the score. The game comes with these score sheets that are pretty cool. And as you can see, I've played uh, solo a few times already. So um, I'll go ahead and do some maths here. Or math, as I like to say. And we'll do, for me, let's do OJ Blue. And uh, for keeps, I have one, two, three keeps. So three keeps. And they're doubled, so it's three times two equals six. And then longhouses, I have one, two, three, four longhouses. So I got four, then it's four times, oh. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and the longhouses are worth one point apiece. Sorry, I gotta make sure I'm doing the math right. So I have three keeps, that's gonna be three points total, and there's times two because they're walled, so it's gonna be six points for keeps. For longhouses, there's four longhouses, they're worth one point apiece, so it's four times two. Um, because they're walled, is going to be eight. And then for townhouses, I have zero. These are townhouses. I have zero of those. So zero. Churches, I have one church. And churches are worth one point. Uh, right here. So it's one times one. There's one times two. Equals two. For farms, I have one, two farms. And they're on the outside. They're not walled. So it's just their, their raw points. So just two. For... Lumber mills, I have one lumber mill, and it's worth two points a piece, so it's two times two, which is four. And a hospital, I have one of those, it's three points a piece, so it's worth six points. So, um, sorry, three times two is six. Three times two is six. And then a monastery, I have one monastery. So I got one of those, and it's gonna be four times two, which is eight. It's like my biggest score right there. And I have no markets, I have no guild halls, I have no universities, I have no cathedrals. So those are all worth zero. Um, when it comes to market bonus, which is a points that you get if you have a market, then you get some bonus stuff. I have no markets, so I get zero for that. Guild hall bonus, I have no guild halls. University bonus, I have no university. Cathedral bonus, I have no cathedrals. Culture, I have two culture. Uh, so just two. Most culture, um, I think. I don't know if I get to compete in that, in the solo game. Let me check. Because I obviously have the most culture. Obviously. Okay. So uh, in the solitaire it says, Be sure to score the most culture bonus. Uh, you must have at least one culture. And the most walled area bonus. If you have an enclosed area. Okay, cool. So so I get those points. So I get... That's 15 points that I'm going to get from that. 5 for having the most culture. And then 10 for having a most walled area. And then finally, disaster points, um, I lose two. So minus two. And there's the thing that we're gonna be doing math on. Sorry, the sheet looks very hectic and confusing. But if we zoom in there so you can see a little bit better, let me do the math from here. Where's my phone? Don't know where my phone is, there it is. Let's do math. All right, so. Let's find the calculator. All right, so we got uh, six plus eight plus zero plus two plus four plus six plus eight plus two plus 15 minus two. So my total score is 49, which according to the um, the scores that I have for previous solo runs, as you can see on the sheet, uh, is actually not great. <laughs> I scored apparently 72 points at one at one point. But my total score according to this, um, 49. So between 45 and 64, I am a peasant. A fair start. At least you have your freedom. There you go. There's the rule book there showing that I am a peasant. Right there. A fair start. At least you have your freedom. But on that one that scored 72, I was over here as a merchant. It's like, yeah, cool. All right, well, that's pretty much it. So that's the entire game. Uh, a very straightforward roll and write. The only thing is that you have a physicality, like you have the physical tokens and everything. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have built a little bit more aggressively with some of the bigger buildings, but I was a little bit more concerned about walling things in. Also, maybe I could have built this way smaller, more compact, because I got a bunch of empty space in that castle that I built. Um, you know, if, if I had like maybe two or three more rounds, I would have some really big buildings, but um, if I'd invested a little bit more early in the church, 
um, so I can get some more special dice, or maybe even get a get one of these, get a townhouse, so I can start rolling the blue dice, and then start getting me some community chest. That would have been great, because then I could start affording some of the bigger buildings. But eight rounds, uh, it kind of forces you to be as efficient as you can with your with your play. And I was not very efficient. I was playing as if there was multiple people at the table playing with me. So that's that's what uh, that's my excuse. That's my excuse. So yeah, so let me know what you all think about this game. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the overview of it and the commentary review next. So be on the lookout for that video. But otherwise, hope you all enjoyed it, and as always, I will see you all whenever.